Hello, this is Wampire. For today's lesson, we're going to be working on the chainsaw technique, uh, more specifically the kicks for the chainsaw technique. So the chainsaw itself is a partner drill, and we normally use sticks, but I'll be using the training knives. And uh, rather than having your hands here, we keep them here. So this V shape is very important just to keep your hands safe, because the closer you can see that this becomes more of a danger to my own hand. So. Make sure it passes through, the weapon passes through your own shoulder, like so, right here and here. Okay, so this is the stance that I want. And then from here, you're gonna be throwing your punches. Your partner's gonna be doing the exact same thing. So you're gonna mirror each other. You're gonna be tapping the sticks. In this case, it's training knives. So you just be tapping, going one, two, three, four, and just keep going like this. You notice right here, I'm also using body shifting. All that is, is just turning, and I'm standing square, so no side is favored. Now, when you add the kicks, the way it's traditionally done is exact same drill like this, boom, 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 and now I'm going to add a kick right there. I'm adding a kick, sorry if it's a little difficult to see, but boom, boom, one, two, one, Two. So as the punch goes, the same side foot goes as well. So punch and kick simultaneously, punch and kick simultaneously. Okay, so that's how it's normally done. When you do that with a partner, you make sure that the kick doesn't actually hit your partner. So you both keep the, the feet. It could just be more like a, just a raising the leg, just real quick like this. You don't have to full blown throw a front kick like that. The sticks do meet, okay, but the kicks don't. So that's how it's normally done, traditionally, okay? Now, we're gonna do that a little bit more realistic to make it more combat ready. Now, we'll go back to first the arms, and we gotta practice that more realistically. So you're gonna put in more power, where you're putting the body in there. Ish, ish. So it's not one, two, three, it's not like this, it's ish. You can see I'm, I'm not adding the torque. When the left hand goes, the right hand pulls back. And the body shifting, turning, really putting that snap in there to add more power, like so. And maintain the V. Most people that I've seen, my students and stuff, they start, this, this always starts happening. So make sure you maintain that V. And so lead with the knuckles, you're just dropping the knuckles on the person, boom! It's not a backhand, but you're leading with the knuckles, okay? It's almost like you're, you're doing a hammer fist with the knuckles, almost. But not, not that quite exaggerated. Anyway, so from here, one, two, one. Now we're gonna add the kicks, boom, right here. Make it more realistic, you put in more power. Like so, okay? right here to the other side so you guys can see now my stance is more realistic because I'm not standing square I'm favoring one side it's fine because when you uh, incorporate the kick you're really going to be switching anyway so from here I could go with the front leg first which means this hand's going to go the right now my left hand so right here that punch and the kick went together, and now that sets me up for the right side. My right side's gonna go right here. So that was a punch and kick simultaneously, okay? More detail, what I'm doing is a front kick. So from here, one, two, one, two. So as I throw this, there it goes. The kick goes, bam! That's the front kick. Left side goes, ish. there's my front kick. Front kick, ish. right here, front kick. Ish. Front kick, front kick. Front kick and punch, they're going simultaneous. Boom. Boom. And even though this is a punch, I'm holding a weapon, so whether it's a stick or a knife, I can still make contact with the weapon. But in my brain, it's as if I'm throwing a punch, okay? So, one, two, okay? Now, 
It doesn't have to be a front kick. It could be an oblique kick. So one, two, one, two. So now the way I'm doing this is more like a drill, like a partner drill. One, two, one, two, one. Of course, don't make contact with your partner. So just be here. Boom, boom, boom. The weapons do, but the kicks don't, okay? But to make it now, to practice by yourself and make it more realistic, right? You're gonna put in the power there. So to be right here, and then from here, yish. so that is a bleed kick. I recommend you guys start with a front kick. The front kick is simpler, and uh, with the shoes on, you could really hit someone right in the knee, the, the shin area, you could scrape that, you could, um, Maybe even potentially cut some uh, skin there, and it could be very, very annoying and bothersome. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing, and take care, folks. Happy holidays.